afternoon. I am Jill with It's the Donnellys. I wanted to give you guys a first hand look of what the Disney magic looks like. So here we go. Today we are in stateroom 2084 and one of the things we love to do is decorate our stateroom door. Over here you can see the kids are in room 2082. This is deck two. So this is midship. So over here you have your elevators and a map if you need to find out where you're going. And over here you have stairs. So you have the option each time of taking the elevator or the stairs on the ship. Now deck three includes things like the Port Adventures desk, which is where you can make reservations for when you go into port. Lumiere's, the Promenade Lounge, Connected Sea, Rapunzel's Royal Table and Guest Services. But let's go in here. The adults only section called After Hours. This is the beautiful Keys Lounge. Gorgeous Art Deco with piano key decorations. And the reason it's called Keys is because there's a piano right there. There's always a live pianist playing music, different, different types of music. Tonight is a tribute to Barbara Streisand. Okay, we came out of Keys and turned left. And this is the elevator bank and the stair bank. And I'll take you next into O'Gill's Pub. O'Gill's is where Brendan likes to hang out during the day when the World Cup soccer's on. <laughs> And he's allowed to do that because you don't have to be 18 to be in these lounges or nightclubs until after 9 o'clock. So here's O'Gill's. It's more of an Irish flair. Mike's favorite part about O'Gill's is that they always have chicken wings and appetizers and vegetables and dip. Okay, now coming out of O'Gill's, I'm taking you into Fathoms. Fathoms is where Mike and I like to go each night because there's always fun adult entertainment in here. There's usually some type of comedy show and game show that happens in Fathoms. All right, this is the front of the ship. We're going to make our way to the aft part of the ship. Okay, making our way out of After Hours, we're heading into the atrium now. This is sort of where the, the main part of the ship, the lobby if you will, where a lot of things happen. Hello! Right now it looks like they're having lunch at Lumiere's. And there's the Mickey statue. There's a different statue in the lobby of every one of the Disney ships. But look at how beautiful this atrium lobby is. And today's Independence Day for the United States, the 4th of July, so the bunting is decorating the lobby. And this goes from deck 3, where I'm standing now, to deck 4 and deck 5. Now when we got on the ship in the very beginning, we all got on right here at deck 3. This is the wonderful Disney staff. Part part of them. There are there are lots and lots of them, but these are some fantastic ones. All the good looking. These are the good looking ones. That's right. <laughs> so, this is the Lumiere's restaurant, and this is reminiscent of the movie Beauty and the Beast. This is my favorite restaurant on the Disney Magic. It's so elegant and beautiful. One of the things I want to show you is if you've ever seen Beauty and the Beast, you've seen the rose, and you know the significance of the rose. And look, they have the rose right up there, and the petals are falling. There's Lumiere, Mr. Cogsworth, Mrs. Potts, Beauty and the Beast himself. We just came out of Lumiere's and we're going to head down the hallway now to Rapunzel's Royal Table, but first we're going to go past the Promenade Lounge. Now something that's really cool about Disney dining, uh, and one of the reasons that we love the magic so much, is because there's rotational dining. So each night you get to dine in a different restaurant and you travel with your server. So your waiter and waitress, they come with you the whole time. So this is the Promenade Lounge. This is a really cool place. And oftentimes they have entertainment there or they'll do game shows, that type of thing here as well. It's a very family lounge. 
This is the Connected C Desk. In case you want to get on the internet, there's ge generally a person here who can help you sign up for internet packages or that kind of thing. If you want to work while you're on your cruise ship, but I do have to work when I'm on mine, but generally I hope that most people can just enjoy. This restaurant is the newest on the Disney Magic. There's a sign there, all the things are on deck four. It's one of my most favorite decks because it has the outside running track. It goes all the way around the front of the ship and all the way around the back of the ship. I also love deck four because I love these deck chairs. They're so comfortable. This restaurant here is closed right now, but I will try to bring you back to it. This is the Animator's Palette, which one it was just also a really, really cool restaurant. Oh, and this is the D Lounge. This is super fun. This is another family lounge. They do a lot of shows and things here, um, game shows and karaoke and that type of thing. Exiting the D Lounge and back into the main lobby area. Remember we saw the lobby from the third deck three? Now we're on deck four. Also on deck four are the stores. Since we are at at port, we aren't able to go in the stores. The stores aren't open while you're at port, but while you're at sea, they are open. So tonight, when we leave at 645, these stores will open up again, and you have the opportunity to shop. And this is the famed Walt Disney Theater. Where this is where all of the large production shows take place. So let's see if we can sneak in there. All right, you guys, it looks like they might be rehearsing, so I'm just gonna peek in and show you really quickly. So here we go, that was deck four. Let's go to deck five. Hey, I'll take you on the elevator this time. Wanna do that? Hello. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are awesome. Oh yeah. I am doing a ship tour. Wow. A ship tour. So a ship today tour. you are with the ship. Yes, we are with it. Fantastic. And Hi where, everyone. Where do you guys work? We are working on the ship. Oh. <laughs> Any particular restaurant? Well, he's, he's a master chef. He's a master chef uh, assistant. Oh my gosh, what a pleasure to meet you. Nice oh my gosh, you. Yes, I'll put my leg there so we can get out. Now. Thank you Hope so you much. The food. Uh, well, the food is fantastic. Uh, the head chefs, that is so cool. They just walk through and, um, and they're so friendly. That's the best part about it. All right, you guys, we are on deck five. That was my elevator experience on deck five. Deck five is really cool because this is where some of the kid clubs are, the Oceaneer Club and the Oceaneer Lab. My kids are too old for that now, but boy, when we, they were younger, they loved the Oceaneer Club and the Oceaneer Lab. So I'll get a chance to hopefully show you a little bit, at least where it is, if I can't show you inside for security purposes, but I can show you where it is. So here's deck five. There are also uh, state rooms on deck five. So people live on deck five. Hello. And right over here, yeah, this is the Oceaneer Lab. Really cool. So I don't think I'm allowed to film in there, but it's, there's a lot of really cool things for kids. This is the Deck 5 balcony. Remember, we're looking over the lobby like we did earlier. Let's go through here. Oh, Deck 5 also has the movie theater. The movie theater is one of the kids' favorite places to go. As you know, if you've seen our vlogs before, you know that Katie, Brennan, and Ryan are huge fans of Marvel. Oh, here's the Ocean Year Club. I'm gonna walk past that. So the lab and the club are for kids that are a little bit younger. I think it's like three to 11, actually. So anyway, the movie theater is up here, so they show Disney movies 
throughout the day. So you can check out the, the schedule. And then so far we've seen Incredibles 2 when we first got on the ship. Ryan saw Incredibles 2 in 3D. Katie saw Infinity War. Who knows what else? Except, oh, we saw Wrinkle in Time. This is an example. Okay, so here's a theater. This is an example of what the schedule looks like. It's called the Buena Vista Theater. And this is an example of the movies that are playing during the whole cruise. So let me show you what it looks like. Here's as if you get your 3D glasses. Okay, so let's continue on. Deck five. There we go. So again, we had staterooms on deck two, deck five, and deck seven and eight are staterooms too. So we're gonna zip up to deck nine. Our elevator's ready. Let's see who's on it this time. Oh, just us. Oh, I forgot to show you. I forgot to show you the laundry room, which is one of my favorite things on the ship. I know that sounds bizarre, and I do not like doing laundry, but they've made it so fun, so I'll show you that um, probably at the end. So deck nine is a deck that is totally cool. It's where most of the people hang out. This is Cabana's which is the buffet restaurant. You must wash your hands before you go into Cabana, so let me take care of doing that right now. As you can see, dining is always an event on, I guess, any cruise ship, but specifically on the Disney ships. And the Disney Magic, again, hi, good, thank you, is also definitely one of my faves. We love cabanas. We eat breakfast here, and sometimes lunch, depending if we're getting off the ship. Um, we would never eat dinner here, but we can. So after you fill yourself up and you have enough energy to go swimming, Deck 9 is the place to do it. That's the beverage station right there. You can go and get a beverage anytime you want, and it's complimentary and included in your cruise. There's Daddy-O. He's got himself a beverage. Hey. I have a cruise line tip. What's your cruise line tip? My cruise line tip is, instead of putting your soda, cold drink, in a cup, paper cup, use one of the styrofoam cups from the coffee area, that is a, fa a fantastic cruise line tip. Thanks, Mike. Thank you, Fabulous. This is a kid water play area. Totally cool for the younger kids. This is the end of the Twist and Spout slide. So let's go in and see what that's all about. If you get a little hungry and you can't make it all the way to Cabana's, you could go to the Duck Inn Diner. They serve hamburgers, cheeseburgers, hot dogs, french fries all day long. <laughs> Coming around this side, this is where you can frequently find my kid at the ice cream stand. Ice cream is open from morning to noon tonight. And they have new cones this time. They're waffle cones. They're beautiful. But you can pour your own ice cream. Coming over here is the family pool, where they're always showing some type of Disney movie or sporting event. Hot tub. And Pinocchio's Pizzeria. And for the adults, if they want a cocktail while they're at the family pool, there it is. If you need a little bit of time away from the kids or you're just two adults or three adults or four adults here on the cruise by yourself, there's a whole front of the cruise ship is dedicated for just adults. We'll show you the Cove Cafe. So we go into this area and you can tell, listen to this, you can hear the Hakuna Matata music and then once you walk past here, it completely changes. 
There we go, nice soft music, but then they also have musicians that play a little bit heavier music a little later um, right by the pool. So these are some really nice chairs. I love sitting right here or right over there. These are two of my favorite things. And looking out over the ocean while we're cruising. This is the Cove Cafe, which was newly redone the last cruise we were on. Uh-oh, here we go. And this has a theme kind of like an adventurer's club. And it smells so good in here. Hello! We're touring the ship. <laughs> Look at you can get some pastries in here if you want to. I've been jonesing for one of those. I think I'm gonna have to get one before I go. And you can get alcoholic beverages in here and coffee? Coffee! Coffee! So this is where Mike and I like to come in and look at the map. Because when you look at this map in here, you can see where your Disney cruise ship is and you can see where the other Disney cruise ships are throughout the world. And it's so, so fun to see our ship. It's over in the Mediterranean. There we go, you see the Disney magic way up there in the Mediterranean, that's us. This is an adult space that is so nice and refreshing. Thank you guys. You're welcome, ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. Into the adult section of the pool. There's tables over here for eating or playing cards. These chairs, as you can tell, are different from the family pool where they're cushioned. Signals Bar is the adult, adult bar by the pool. It's super fun to hang out here with Mike. And one of my, also one of my favorite things about the Disney Magic is this pool. It's a great pool. I love this dark blue area right here. It's only about two inches tall. So you can sit in the water and hang your legs over and still be refreshed. This is such a beautiful pool space. And connected to the adult pool is the adult spa. But this is the census front desk and salon. It smells really good. I wish you guys could smell it. But sitting right here, so I'll tell you a little bit about the spa and the salon. And the gym is back here too. So Katie and I got our nails done. I got my toenails done earlier on the cruise. Katie got her fingernails done. Katie and Brennan just had um, a personal trainer session because you have to be 18 or older to use the gym. But they were able to have a personal trainer session since they're older than 13. So the two of them together did that. All right, we're going back in the spa area now. This is the gym. favorite decks where all the action is but let me show you deck 10 there's even more action up there especially if you're a teenager and you like to play basketball <laughs> deck 10 mostly has balconies overlooking the pool so the adult pool and the family pool but if you go back here in the aft of the ship or the forward part of the ship sorry there's a basketball court you could always find Brennan here playing basketball probably not today because he had a personal trainer session and he's wiped this is basketball Foosball and ping pong and some really heavy music. Fun for those people playing sports outside. All right, coming back into the adult pool area, we're going to cross over into what one of the things that makes the magic so different and so special from every other cruise ship on the ocean, even every other Disney cruise ship, and that is the Aqua Dunk. The Aqua Dunk is an amazing water slide that drops you straight out of that chute. You stand on it and then they push a button and the floor opens and then you fall down. And you go out over the side of the ship. Yes, totally over the side of the ship. And then back in and then you land right here. It is so fun. On the last cruise, Ryan and I did it six times in a row. And then back we are, again on deck 10, overlooking the family pool. And then you go that way and up for the entrance to the twist and spout. And woo, there goes the 
somebody. <laughs> This is Palo. Oh, I'll take you in and show you Palo. Okay. And it's a beautiful Italian restaurant. With it, they have an open kitchen. So when you're in here at night dining, it's a very serene, calm, romantic place. But over here is where the action is. So you can always see and hear what's going on in the back, which is very exciting. You know they're making up a great dish for you and they have fantastic cocktails. Also on deck 10 is the fairly new Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique. This is so you can um, come bring your kids here and they can get made up as pirates and princesses. So you see all the different chairs and all the pirate costumes and the princess costumes. They do hair and nails and makeup. Today's a pretty busy day because it is pirate day on the ship. Hi guys, have a great night. <laughs> Thank bye. you, bye. Okay, now let's go back down to, oh, we're gonna take you to Vibe. I'm gonna show you Vibe, which is the teen club where Brennan and Katie love to go. Oh, look at this. Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique right up there. All right, we're back down to deck nine for just a quick second. I want to show you Edge. Edge is the tween space. So, for example, Ryan, who's 12, isn't old enough to go to Vibe, but he's too old for the Oceaneer Lab and the Oceaneer Club. So this is Edge. I don't think that I'm allowed to film inside there because for privacy purposes, there are kids in there. But when I tell you that the space is cool, I mean the space is really, really cool. They have um, Xbox and PlayStation and craft stations and art stations and um, sports like they go out and they do really cool things on the ship like scavenger hunts and that kind of stuff but it, it's really a really cool space all right we're back up on deck 10 and I'm gonna run in here and show you vibe vibe is the teen space where Brennan and Katie like to hang out so it's ages 14 and above and you go right up these stairs and they have the really cool own space which I'm not allowed to film up there because there's kids up there, hi. <laughs> but you go right up these stairs and one of my favorite parts about Vibe is Miss Pac-Man because they have Miss Pac-Man right up there. Okay, so I'm back on the elevator heading down from deck 10, which is where, where Vibe was, all the way down to two, which is where our state room is. I hope you enjoyed our tour of the Disney Magic. There are so many things that I didn't even show you. It would take hours, but those are most of the spaces in the ship. And beyond that, there are so many different amenities and things that Disney has thought of that make your cruise so much more fun and so much more enjoyable. One of those things is doing the laundry, which I'll show you really quickly. I know it sounds bizarre, but again, I don't like doing laundry, but on this ship, it is so cool. This is what the laundry room looks like. And right over here is the machine, and you put your key card up on the machine, and it tells you how many washers and how many dryers are available. And then you can purchase e-tokens, which you use over here for your detergent, and you can use over here for your washer and your dryer. And then once your laundry is finished, the washer or dryer is finished, then you get a text on the in in cruise ship app that tells you, hey, your dryer, your washer's done, your dryer's done. So no more running down, like leaving the pool and running down to see if it's done yet and moving it out of the way. It's the most convenient thing ever. I love it. And there's Claret. Hi, Claret. Hello. <laughs> All right, you guys, so that's the end of our yeah, ship tour. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed seeing the spaces that are on the Disney Magic, and hopefully you'll understand a little bit more about the cruise that we do and why we do it and why we love it so much. So thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll see you on the next cruise. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.